Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one it is time. Week 4 challenge is going to be showing you the locations of the holographic tomato head, the holographic Der Burger head, the giant dumpling head, the location of the fort bite for today, as well as covering the other challenges with some easy ways to get them done. Like honestly, some super easy ways to get these challenges done fast. So yeah guys, going to be a very helpful video. If you do find it helpful and you want to help support me, be sure to use code Lamaser in the item shop. I always appreciate it a ton. And also while you're at it, hit that like button down below and comment what tier you guys are at i've been making my way through the tiers i'll put up what tier i'm at on the screen right now but i'm curious to see where you guys are at as well but without further ado let's first jump on into it with the quick overview of the challenges so that you know um pretty much what's going to be going on in this video again we're going to be covering the fort bite but there isn't like a secret star this week it's kind of the off week but as for the challenges themselves here you have got legendary weapon eliminations have a very easy way to find legendary weapons like pretty much all of the time you've also also got visit different named locations in a single match got an amazing way to do that dance inside of a holographic tomato head plus the other stages again show you all of that land at location stages destroy a loot carrier in different matches eliminate opponents in haunted hills or dusty divot of course we'll talk about that one as well and then also deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents so some very interesting challenges this week but let's go ahead and get into it with the first challenge I want to discuss in this video and show you like the best way of going about doing it and that is the visit different named locations in a single match because I have an amazing way to do this an amazing route that I think is by far the best route to take and you can get this one done like super easily but yeah guys for this one there's two main things that can help you get this one done super fast and the first of which is to obviously use a vehicle whether it's a baller a quad crasher or a drift board I would personally recommend either the baller or the drift board those are probably the fastest and most easy to maneuver around the different locations so make sure you get one of those and um, I'll show you a perfect location to actually pick one of these up to get this challenge done. But then the second thing that is uh, also very, very important in order to get this challenge done fast is to line up five of the closest locations. And don't worry, guys, I've got you covered on that. So for example, the locations I would recommend going to are Junk Junction, Haunted Hills, Pleasant Park, Loot Lake, and then finally Neo Tilted. Now, with that being said, when you start off, don't go directly to Junk Junction. Instead, you want to go to the racetrack right next to it and grab one of the vehicles that you can find right there. Now after that, you simply wrap around the locations, again going to Junk Junction, then Haunted Hills, then Pleasant Park. Those three locations are super close together, then a little bit farther away is Loot Lake, and then super close to that is Neo Tilted, which is the five locations that I'm pretty sure are the closest together in like a single line that you can take from one to the next. So yeah, guys, I definitely recommend that. All right, guys, before this next one, this is Fort Bite number, I think, 79. It's the one that's found in, in an arcade, but that's the one for today. So let's go ahead and get into it, show you the exact location to go and grab this one for today, since, you know, it's the challenge that came out today, pretty sure. So simply go into something like Team Rumble, click Accept, and then, yeah. All right, guys, but once you're in-game, you then want to head over to the location called Mega Mall, you know, the old retail row location. It's right down there. As you can see, it's right down there on the right side of the battle bus. A little bit of a freeze there in the game, but that's all right. So let's jump out of the battle bus, and then you want to head down about right around here. You know what? You can actually probably get this with another challenge. But yeah, head down towards Mega Mall and just go like right in the center of it. Let's land right here at the front of it or the side of it, just so I can show you. But yeah, there's Mega Mall, so run inside, and the arcade is over. I gotta remember, I think it's, yeah, it's like right up here. Here's the arcade, so you go back here. There's already a guy over here, but um, yeah, there you go. Fort Bite number 79, he's doing an emote. Found within an arcade, very easy to get, and a beautiful arcade over here. So let's grab that, and that is how you get that challenge done. So there you guys go. But let's get into it with the next challenge I want to talk about here, and this one is the Legendary Weapon Eliminations. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I have an amazing way to go about doing this because you can basically get Legendary Weapons almost all of the time. So actually, I have two different ways to get Legendary Weapons. The first of which is pretty interesting, and I almost forgot to say it, but it is by going to the block. That is right, guys. If you don't remember that location has a specific chest at it that I like to call the legendary chest because it always 100% of the time spawns a legendary weapon for you to then use and get eliminations with now for example one of the blocks as you can see right here had the legendary chest inside of the pirate ship and this is just a reminder of like what the legendary chest looks like again each block when it changes is going to have a different location for that chest but if you're able to find it every time it drops a legendary which will obviously help with 
with this challenge. On the other hand, if you don't want to go there the other way that is probably even easier to do this is to go into Team Rumble. Now the reason you want to do that is because at 4 minutes on the storm moving timer, the first timer, a bunch of airdrops will spawn inside of the circle around the map. So what I like to do is land inside of the circle at the start of a match, wait for that 4 minutes to show up, and then as soon as those airdrops start appearing on the map, I check my minimap, find the, the closest one or a couple that are close together, go over to them and get a bunch of legendaries. That's pretty much how I always play Team Rumble. And then, of course, you can get some easy eliminations with them. And that's by far the best way to go about doing that challenge. On top of that, you also have the deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents, which is a very easy challenge. We won't talk too long about this one. But I do have a couple of tips for you. Again, I want to help you guys get these challenges done as quickly as possible so you can unlock those skins like uh, Vendetta, maybe work towards getting stuff for rocks, things like that. But with the deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents, there's two main things. The first of which is pretty obvious, but that's knowing what the different sniper rifles are. There's basically the semi-automatic, the heavy sniper, I think the hunting rifle counts as well, and then also the suppressed one. I think those are the four that will work for this challenge. On top of that then, I can also recommend the game mode for you, and then after that it's pretty straightforward, you know, just go for eliminations, but basically Team Rumble is obviously going to be the best for this challenge. You can get some eliminations super easily as long as you're just sitting back, waiting for people to maybe stand still, because a lot of the times people in Team Rumble do stand still, so you should be able to find three people to- oh wait, no, you don't even need three people, I'm sorry, it's a deal damage challenge, so you may actually need around five hits to get that damage, unless you're using a heavy, but that would only be like 150, so maybe four to five, but yeah, if you do that in Team Rumble, it should be super easy. But keeping it going here, guys, let's talk about probably the most fun challenge this week, and that is to visit the holographic tomato head, and then plus stages, but the other stages are the Der Burger, and then the, I think the dumpling, but don't worry, guys, got all the locations of those, and if you have haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I post these guides every single week showing you the best ways to go about doing the challenges and getting them done fast so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications to be uh, the first to hear about those but yeah guys jumping into game here I want to show you the specific locations and uh, where exactly to drop where to get these and as you can see we are in playground it obviously does not work in playground it's just easier for me to show you in playground so be sure to do something like team rumble or just solo whatever you feel comfortable with but basically for the first one, the tomato head, you want to go over towards Mega Mall, so that's actually kind of closer to Dusty Divot. But yeah, once you drop into your game, say you're dropping off the battle bus like right here, you want to go over to Mega Mall, the location, but you specifically want to go over to the actual mall inside of Mega Mall. <laughs> that's always fun to say. But as we get closer to the actual mall itself, you will start to see that holographic tomato head showing up. As you can see above the Pizza Pit location, so as you go towards it, you know you're just going to have to get right next to it and that will count as visiting the tomato head or giant holographic tomato head, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Then after that guys, for stage two, you have to visit a giant holographic Der Burger head and that location is more near, well, it's actually inside of Neo Tilted. So uh, I'd probably go to Dusty Divot again. So once more, say you're dropping off the battle bus like this, you want to go over towards Neo Tilted and you can probably actually see it right now, the Der Burger, the giant holographic one is right above this big building, this big Der Burger building, as you can see. So once you're in your game, again, doesn't really matter which game mode, you simply want to land right under it, right around here, and that should count as visiting the giant holographic Der Burger. Very easy, I love these types of challenges, they're always a lot of fun. But we have one more stage to go over, and that is the giant dumpling. So once more, let's go back to here, and then the location you want to go for the dumpling is actually Lucky Landing towards the south part of the map, so probably go towards Paradise Palms. And then for this final stage, as you can see again, say you're jumping off the battle bus like this, you want to go over towards Lucky Landing, specifically that building right there. Now as we're dropping in, you can see the giant spinning dumpling heads start to come into view, so simply get closer to it, land right on top of here, and that should be the final stage of this challenge done just like that. And as a reminder guys, you do have to do these in separate matches, since it is a stage challenge, it's a little bit annoying that way, but these locations are pretty far from each other anyways, so there you go. Keeping it going here, though guys you also have the destroy a loot carrier in different matches so in case you're not sure what a loot carrier is it is basically that new thing that was added in one of the recent updates and it's the specific like you know flying drone that drops a ton of loot so I think you have to destroy those in 
three different matches, one of those in three different matches. And I bet a bunch of you know how these work, but um, in case you don't, as a quick reminder, basically in order to find these locations, when you start off a match, you want to take a look at your minimap and go to the locations where the name is yellow. That basically signifies a location that has these loot carriers. Now as for the game mode, honestly, you could probably do something like Team Rumble because I think there's a max of 40 players in a Team Rumble match, which will obviously keep it a little bit less busy than, say, Solo, where a bunch of people are probably going to be trying to get this challenge done by going to these loot carrier locations. On top of that, if it's on your side in Team Rumble, that's also going to make it easier because you're not going to have to worry about opponents, most likely. So keep that in mind, guys, for doing that challenge should help you to get it done. After that, then, you also have Eliminate Opponents in Haunted Hills or Dusty Divot, which is pretty interesting and a pretty straightforward challenge, but I do have a couple of recommendations for this. The first of which is a recommendation for the mode that you want to play to get this done easy. I would not recommend Team Rumble for this one, I would actually instead recommend doing Solo. The reason I recommend that is because you get your eliminations done super easily and also in uh, Team Rumble, it's pretty tough to actually land at one of these locations and find opponents to fight. Whereas in Solo, obviously you're going to be able to find a bunch. Now as for the location, I would recommend going to Dusty Divot, it's right in the center of the map so you're going to be able to find people super easily and get those eliminations done, but if you want to go to Haunted Hills, you might have it a little bit more quiet if that's what you prefer. And then after that guys, for the final challenge I want to discuss in this video, it is the Land at Location Stages Challenge, and this one again is very straightforward. Um, you got five different locations, and I believe the locations go Polar Peak, Lazy Lagoon, Salty Springs, The Block, and then Lonely Lodge. Now with those, you can't really couple them with too many other locations except for the block. If you decide to go there, again, you can maybe mix it with that legendary, you can maybe mix it with that legendary eliminations challenge because you can go for the legendary chest, get a legendary weapon, and then maybe go for some eliminations with it. You're trying to knock out two birds with one stone a little bit there, but honestly, that challenge is pretty much just to land at those locations. It takes a little bit of time, so there's not a ton of tricks I can give you. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this helpful, and let's get into the outro. Hush.